How's it going, everybody? We're back once again on Let's Drink Final Fantasy. So we took a little break last week. We did a little Let's Drink Tecmo Super Bowl while I waited for some votes to come in. And we got a few. We got a few over on the Game Facts board. We got some on YouTube. We got them all over, you know, just anywhere. That's great. So, the big question was, what spell is Guy going to learn? Is he going to learn Cure 2? Or is he going to learn Harm 2? There's a lot of benefits to both spells. Cure 2 heals you for more than Cure does. Harm 2 does more damage to the undead than Harm does. Actually, I suppose that is about the extent of their advantages. But, um... Well, the people have spoken, and actually, the result was unanimous. Harm 2 it is. So Guy has just learned Harm 2. Congratulations, Guy. And, uh, we have some stuff to get done here today on Let's Drink Final Fantasy. We got a lot of stuff to do, because... Well, we've opened up Melmon, we've opened up the Earth Cave, and quite frankly, we are not ready. <laughs> not at all. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to buy some potions. going to get a few pure potions. And going to get a few heal potions. And what we're going to do is, basically... We are going to go looting, because the one thing you do in an RPG after you kill something is loot the bodies, and we didn't do that very well thus far here on Let's Drink Final Fantasy. I mean, there's still some treasure chests in the Marsh Cave we didn't get, there's some treasure chests in the Northwest Castle we didn't get, the Lair of Astos. Oh, and look at Beach, busting out the crit. I tell you, man, ever since I killed Astos, he has been a house of fire. I gotta give all crit to him there. And ever since, he's been a machine of death. I'm glad about that. I'm happy. I'm pleased. You know, normally, I wouldn't fight these guys, but today, I'm feeling it. Because, quite frankly... Oh, nice job, Keo. Got some fire, too, for the creeps. They're weak to fire, so it takes them all out. But, uh... Quite frankly, we're a little low level to get into the Earth Cave. As, uh... As some of you are no doubt aware from being familiar with the game. And we're a little under-equipped, too. Basically, all around, if we went into the Earth Cave right now, it would be a long walk off a short pier. But that's okay. Because there's a lot of stuff we can still get that'll make us better equipped to take on the denizens... Oh man, boys. The denizens of the Earth Cave. Whether it be the wizards on the third floor, whether it be the Hall of Giants, whether it be... I don't even know what else. Whether it be Lich, whether it be a vampire, whether it be just anything. Basically, we got some stuff to do before we can take them on. And I'm okay with that. So here we are, back in Astos' Castle of Death. And I have to make my way through the maze here. To the room that is normally locked by the Mystic Key. I suppose it is still locked by the Mystic Key, but now I have the Mystic Key, so I can get it. And boom. There we go. We got some images to fight. That's a good thing, because as you may note, Guy has him some Harm 2. And you know what? I think Harm 2 is just going to take him out. But we'll see. Oh, we got some Paralyzing. We got some beating the shit out of fucked. And Beach with another crit. I tell you what, this guy. This guy is great. Well, 
Alright, well, it took out one of them. So, that ain't exactly what I was after. But you know what? We'll do it again. And you know what? Since Beach is a crick machine, crit machine, man, Fucked is about to die. Oh, he missed. That's okay, though. I understand. And now the rest of them are toasted. Because Guy is a great man. Now that he's got harm too, he is even greater. So what do we got? We got a falchion that ain't nobody going to use. We got the power staff. And we got an iron gauntlet. I think that nobody's going to use the falchion. And I think that nobody is going to use the power staff. But, uh... I gotta see something here. So he's got 35 absorb. And if we put the iron gauntlet on him, then he has got 37 absorb. Alright, so it is a little better. Guy needs to give up some healing juices. We're gonna avoid that little spiked square on the way out, because I'm out of harm too. I don't wanna fight no more images. So that was a successful venture. We made some money. We got some stuff. We're going to make our way back to Elfland here. And, uh, we're going to sell some of this stuff. Because... Because we can. Let's finish them off fast. I'd like to avoid getting poisoned in this particular fight. Alright. Well, that just negated Keo's turn. But that's okay because we never came around to him. He was able to stay supervise. And boom, quick hundred gold. So that's an end stay right there. That's the way I look at it. Yeah, see, that's too many arachnids. That's not a cost-effective... Uh, not a cost-effective fight. Unless, of course, I don't run. Okay, there we go. So we're going to make our way back to Elfland here sell off some of this stuff, buy some stuff, and then you know what we're gonna do? I don't know what I was doing there. You know what we're gonna do then? I'm gonna buy some stuff. I think that was pretty self-explanatory. Quite frankly. But that's okay. Sometimes you gotta say things that you already know the answers to. Some fire. Alright. Just build a mop up here. Won't be too tough. Oh, nice job. Fucked. Okay. Keo takes out the other one. That brings us to Beach. And Beach didn't kill it. But, you know, I, I like to think. Uh, he was just softening it up for himself to kill. Nice. Alright. Got some money. Back into town. Got some weapons to sell here. So we're gonna sell us a silver knife. We're gonna sell us a falchion. And we are going to sell us a motherfucking power staff. So we get a lot of money for selling that power staff. That's a good thing. We don't need the saber anymore. Anyone else got anything to sell? Yeah, we got an iron hammer to sell off. And a large dagger to sell off. So we made a little bit of money there. That's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. And I think we can sell off a little bit of armor here. So let's do that. Sell the copper gauntlets that nobody can use. No, that's all good. And that's all good. Alright. Now, you know what we can do now? We can buy us some more spells. I don't know if. I don't think. Let's see. Nah, I don't want any of those. I already got fire to it, too. 
but I don't use any of the others. So, it would be kind of pointless to buy them. I would be douche. Alright, Guy, on the other hand, has excellent need of Cure 2. And then, he also has excellent need of Heal. So let's buy us a little bit of Heal. Nice. Alright, now, we have purchased all the level 3 spells that I intend to purchase. Which means, among other things, that we can begin purchasing level 4 spells. Because level 4 are the spells of awesome. So the first thing we gotta do, we gotta make our way to the level 4 spell shops. So what are we gonna buy? Well, level 4 black magic has a couple of great spells. For instance, it has Confuse, which, because of the particular methods in which it works, is borderline useless. Confuse, allow me to explain, enunciate, if you will. Uh, basically, what it does is it confuses the enemy so that it can attack other enemies instead of your people. Now, normally you would think that's a good thing, but, um, <laughs> excuse me about that, I'm sorry, I had to sneeze. I made sure not to point myself at the mic as I did so, so hopefully it was not terrible for you to hear. But, um, the problem with Confuse is, what it does is, instead of just attacking, it has them cast fire at other enemies. Now, you may note that fire is a level 1 spell, and thus does a lot less damage than many higher level enemy attacks. And you would be right to notice that. And that is why Confuse is not getting purchased by me. On the other hand, Ice 2 is a great spell, because, of course, like Ice, it is a level higher than the Fire and Lit equivalent of its particular tier of spell. So it's level 4, whereas Fire 2 and Lit 2 are level 3. So as we discussed before, uh, several times ago on Let's Drink Final Fantasy, if something is not particularly icy, fiery, or litty, then the ice will do more normal damage, more base damage, a higher amount of damage, if you will. Yeah, that's about right. So, yes, and so, Ice 2 is a pretty good spell, but, you know what an even better spell is? Fast. And what fast is, is you could basically call it haste. In later games, they call it haste. In crappy remakes of this game, they call it haste. But in this game, we call it fast. And what it does is, it gives you double hits. So if you're a dude that gets two hits in a round, now all of a sudden you get four hits in a round. If you're a dude that gets eight hits in a round, all of a sudden you get 16 hits in a round. If you get 16 hits in a round, you've probably already had fast casts on you and it doesn't work twice. So you don't get 32 hits in a round, but nice try. But either way, we're going to buy us a little fast. Now, I don't have enough money to buy any level 4 white magic spells. But I want to show you something. Level 4 white magic sucks. <laughs> you got pure, which is a good spell, but it's pretty damn expensive. And really, you're just better off buying pure potions. You got fear, which, okay, it can make enemies run. Now, mm, no. Because, well, either I want to fight the enemy, or I want to run away from them. I don't want them to run away from me at the cost of a level 4 spell slot. Which, granted, I'm not used for anything else, but still, 